ุดประเจงยุบชนเนบันตอเวนสถานที่ดับปีตูเตียงประเทศรถโดยการตีไปฉน้ำปีฟอนมาพีสมัชเชยอ่อนปอนยุบชนสถานที่ดับปีโจรวมประกุดประเจงสมัติเพียบเลือวิญญาตาประลองเชื้อเรือเซฟปุกายสถานที่ดับปีตูเตียงประเทศวิญญาตาโจเจกดังดาวชีสาเทระนาเชี่ยพิซาขมายหนึ่งวิญญาตาโจเจกดังดาวชีสาเทระนาเชี่ยพิซาอองเล่ได้มีสายตัวปิดให้จันต่อไทยประหอกจะปีมองดับปีสามสับดีตีดำมองมวยสามสับดีตีโรเซียขนงเฟซบุ๊กเพกเนี่ยปันโตเวนรุมวันทมสำหรับประชาชนลิพีจังอ๋อรวมเมียนโมโตกองจุดเตอร์นังอาหารุปกรมาหนึ่งตะประเชียงมวยรอยหาสะประมัยเลียนเรียลดาเปียโจรวมประกุดประเจงไอเลยนี่ตามตู้รับเลยโซนมาพายไปกาเรตประมุยปรามรอยหาสะประมโซนแปดสะประมุยประมุยรอยประมัยประมัยรอยแปดสะประบุญโซนดับมุยประมุยรอยสายสะปีโซนสามสะประมุยกัมพูชีนี่สหการริบจอมดอยวิชิสถานซีอีโอหนึ่งซีอีโอมาสเตอร์คลับโอปธรรมทุ่มดอยโทนี่กีไอกเตอีออนแคมโบเดียพีเอลซีสหการโอปธรรมดอยโทนี่กีอาภิวัตจุนนบอดกรมหุ่นแคมเปญนำโปรเจกเตะจีดมวยคลังหรืออาศัยแต่งทรงเลือดทนเทียนมนุษย์คลังดามไปโจรวมก่อสร้างคุณเพียบทนเทียนมนุษย์กัมพูชีอ่อยกันเตะคลังวิชิตสถานซีอีโอโจมตัวสวากุมเซอร์นิสต์มอตตัวกาปดอบันดาเนื้อวิชิตสถานซีอีโอคณะปารยาปัดกรุ๊ปกรองปฏิจกรรมอ่อนตระเชียร์เซอร์นิสต์ได้เมาซับซาเนื้อวิชิตสถานซีอีโอนึ่งตัวบานกาบังวับอ่อยคลายเชื้อบกเล็กปูกายเนื้อตักนมปูกายเนื้อโรคซีปูกายกาโรคเคยติดกระสอบจุกจี้ปีกำนัดตามระยะปัจจัยปีเชื้อคู่กบาลลำดับปีทุบลูกเรดสแกนกาเรียนอนุวัตเจ้าใดนั่งตะตุบานจุ่มนิ่งเปิดประกอบมวยร้อยเพรอยกาบังบักต่อยเนะจุกจี้ขนมอาชีพนั่งอาชีพกรรมเปิดประกอบกาสับซาบันไทม์เลือดจุ่มนิ่งพิซซ่าจันพิซซ่าองเล่จุ่มนิ่งคอมจุดเตอร์จุ่มนิ่งตุ่มเนะตำนองนั่งจุ่มนิ่งดีเย่เจียซานเทระนาคกาเทเนียกาเงียบเถื่อบรรจบปีบรรจบกาสับซาเนื้อเป้บรรจบการสับซาเนื้อวิชิตสถานซีอีโอนิสต์นั่งตัวตัวบานจุ่มนิ่งชุบบ้านหลวงไอ้เพื่อการทำตู้ในตีจีเนตตักนอมนั่งตัวตัวบานประจมนกปูจีมวยวิชิตสถานซีอีโอเยื่องรวมเนี่ยก่อสร้างทนเทียนมนุกรรมปุจีเอาการแต่คลั่งเลือดชะเจียดนั่งชะอ่อนตระเจียดปอดวินบอลไทม์ส้มเตะตรงตู้ซับเลยโซนมาพายไปการเร่ประมุยปรำห้าปรำโซนมาพายไปการเร่ประมุยปรำปูนไก่ปรำปูนวิชิตสถานซีอีโอคลายเชี่ยวบกกระลึกปูกายเนื้อดักน้อมปูกายเนื้อโรคซีปูกายจ่าชิมเบี้ยวซัวย้อมชมหอมในบ้านคือจิตเซอร์ได้บอกปีวิชิตไลท์จีซิมสามกีสุดเลยเนี่ยช่วงชั่วโมงแห่งเช้าเที่ยงเอ่อนี่ช่วงเรียนในขณะที่ดับปีเอในวิเชียรไลท์คอนเสิร์ตแอร์โอนชั่วโมงซ้อมจันทรีให้โอนมาปีวิเชียรไลท์บาดตุกเยอะนะจุ่มเรียบซัวเขียนมาชั่วโมงจันทร์เสียงไทยเจษณาที่ดับปีกอมวยในซาเบตีอันตรายเจตีพรำสกัดจามเปอร์เอ่อขยมกระทำการบิดที่เนี่ยบรรทอเว้นคือจะการบิดที่มูดอลล์อ๋อสำหรับจำนวนเซอร์ขณะที่ดับปีได้กลมปงแต่ซับซ่านในเปย์ปัจจุบันได้บอกให้ไอ้ยังบันเจงในเตะกุศลได้ยังเมียนนั่งเตะกุศลนั่งการซับซ่านในโซ่ดอกบัวยังห่วงได้ห้อยยมกระทำจะปูการบิดที่นี่ตัวคือปัจจุบันนับกักสร้างหน้าปลอยชีวิตเซสตีดับปีติงอ้อนำไปบอกให้ในสมัติพิบได้ครูได้บานบอกให้เป็นบุญมากให้เถื่อเยอะนั่งเฮียนนั่งเฮียนเลยถ้ามีสมัติพิบมุ้ยน้องกาบอกว่าบิดเจ้าจุ่มนั่งได้กูบัวยังจะเฉียดไอ้แซ่แต่เนี่ยเขียมจังบรรจัยสมัติพิบมุ้ยระบาดเนี่ยเขียมได้เนี่ยเขียมมีเนื้อเตะการกระดาษการบักแก่ดับใบเป็นอีกใช้ให้ดับใบใส่เราสมัติพิบบอกคนไอ้ถ้าคนไอ้เมื่อสมัติพิบเป็นแหน่เฮ้ยสวยเนี่ยเขียมแม่เดี๋ยวตัวบัตรพิซซ่าจีจ้าเนื้อขนมแก่ปลาหลอมมุ้ยนี่ยมส้มนายนอมบองโอ้บองโอ้บองโอ้จังอ๋อเนี่ยได้หาที่ดับปีนั่งเบอร์เซนเจ้าคนเราคนไอ้ทำมีสมัติพิบเลยจังบังให้เป็นสมัติพิบใบมุ้ยโซ่เหมือนเจนเออจอชมุ้ยน้องแก่เหมือนที่เนี่ยบรรทอเว้ดับใบมีหลักการบังให้พิสมาเทียบแบบนี้มันจิตนิฮานจิตสักกุกไก่กับดัตวิเชียไอจังตื้อหรือก็ยั
ั้งเปียปกมาได้ระบายเจิงใจทานเตยขยมตันแต่ตัวบานสกดีสลายดอกกาดาบีบงปรอกอดชนะเมื่อไทยขยมจินเนตมันทามินเหงาไว้กาดล้างกอดคล้ายจินเนตตุ่มหลบบุ่มร้องขนมกูซาแตงครูนักเมงกอดเธอประกอบท่าปะอ้นใส่กอดตัวตัวบานกาศักษากรุบชลงชโรยตัวตัวบานเนอไว้ไว้เดนเนตเตยมินดังประกอบท่าปะอ้นใส่บอกกอดจุกใจนักนองชีวิตก้นในตายในเธอจะบองพระหล่อนั่งจะได้คู่ด้านหล่อคงจะวัดขยมมาสายเบียดได้หล่อขมิ้นกูปรีบไม่ก็มันเลียนทำทดลองมาเอ็กซ์ตร้าทำไมคลั่นติดกาเปียบินประเสริฐพีบกระวงไอ้จังเลือกคลั่นกับบ้านเลือกหลอมกับบ้านคำเพลงทนำปอจีย่อมตรกาต้นบันทายย่อมจังเรียบจอมคราวไอ้ล้อจริงดิยุบจังแทมสระมุติเพราะไม่ได้ผลิตอาชีพกรรมที่ยังบานตาเนี่ยกำปองตระการดำต้นปองรีอาชีพกรรมเมนเต้ไอ้เล่านี่ทุนิกีอภิวัตชนบทหนึ่งกะสิกรรมรอจุนอันเตียงกอมตัวสัปปะกรรมสหกรีทนโตหนึ่งมัดชุ่มจีมวยหนึ่งอัตราคาปราตั้มแต่ปรามเพรอยปนดอกนงมวยชนะมกำใจปรามปนดอลาคาปราตั้มแต่มาพายมวยดอลาปนดอกนงมวยไข่ทุนิกีอภิวัตชนบทหนึ่งกะสิกรรมดำใบกะสิกรหนึ่งอภิวัตเศรษฐกิจสองกลุ่มนอมกจูนดอยวิจิสถานซีอีโอบงพักในสัตว์อ่อยคล้ายจีบกกลึกปูกายเนื้อดักน้มปูกายเนื้อรกซีปูกายหนึ่งคล้ายคล้วนจีนมินทไงนากดซีอีโอมาสเตอร์คลับบงพักมาจ่ายชีวกรรมอ่อยคล้ายจีเนื้อดักน้มธุรกิจกัมปูลทอนี่กีไอเกตอีออนแคมโบเดียพีเอลซีสามัญโรฮาเงียสูลทนี่กีอภิวัตชนบทหนึ่งกษกรรมดำใบกษิกรหนึ่งอภิวัตเศรษฐกิจสังคมงวนสิทธาเมียนบมราจุนเสวาดอดะหนึ่งพระโดประรอห้าตอนเจ็ดพระจุนเนกุมใจศึกษาดอนิสันพร้อมแต่งพระโดลกาการเงียจีจันกันไหลป้อนเมียนบนไทม์สมเตะตองตามเล็กตัวสับโซนเจ็ดสับปรำปีปรำใบรอยมาไพปีโซนแปดสับปรำใบโซนเจ็ดสับปรำใบรอยมาไพปีโซนแปดสับปรำใบกรมหุ่นถนำปอเจ็ดแคมเพนจีจุมเรือดำใบสาวพ่อนเพียบ Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to the second uh, to the English speaking competition. And as today, we have a little bit different schedule, isn't it? Because yes. we live on Friday instead of Thursday. Well, as 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 everyone can see, yesterday was uh, our national holiday, so we so uh, so so we we cannot we we cannot permit or we cannot conduct any uh, competition on on national holiday. So that's why we move our competition to Friday. And okay, how are you feeling today? I'm doing, I'm doing great. Doing good, doing great. Yes. Okay, nice. Um, now how do you feel about b a d u k Like, are you ready about b a d u k Um, I am eighty percent ready for my upcoming exam. What happened to another twenty? <laughs> um, I mean, I like, I need more time to prepare on another subject. Um, to get. Well, what I want uh, to get an A. Okay. Now, what about you? Are you ready for Badok? It's kind of, but uh, it have a little problem. It's kind of not that little, but um, I mean the culture letter is okay, but the uh, lesson is kind of. I can remember some, and then I forget some, and it like plus it's still not okay yet. So is 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 it still a small problem or a big problem? <laughs> Big, big right now. <laughs> well, actually, I'm pretty sure for those who are preparing for Bandung, uh, the hardest part about the exam is to memorize all the stuff, and I've been there too, and I am lazy too. Um, all right. Uh, okay. Today, um, today we we are here to talk about um a very specific topic and a very good topic as well, a general topic as well, when which is happening all around the world. Is it, we we will talk about poverty today. So, um, but before we begin, we would like to thank our sponsors. Thank you to Eon Specialized Bank. Um, 
simple, efficient, and easy. And thank you to Muncita. Uh, Muncita has uh, deposit uh, uh, deposit services, cash withdrawals, and um, and, and a lot of services. And uh, Muncita also provide jobs opportunity, uh, many job opportunities, and also um, provide loans to students as well. And we would like to thanks to uh, rural rural uh, agricultural uh, bank of Cambodia, Thaniki Amkot Chunabat. And we, uh, lastly, we would like to thanks to uh, campaign uh, to support uh, for supporting for uh, the NAPTO program till now. All right. Um, before we begin, uh, I would like to introduce these two. And as 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 you already know, they are uh, they are from the first round, uh, and then make it to the second round. Uh, to my left is from Sisvat High School, and to my right is from Hun Sen Sri Pib High School. So um, now. What what would you like to tell about yourself to the audience? And before we start, I would like to say good afternoon to Judge, fellow contestant, and everyone. My name is Lao Yun King, and I'm from Persis Wat High School, Grade 12. It is such an honor to be here competing in that Mutawin program. This is my second live show, and I'll be talking about a topic um, that goes by the word poverty uh, is a state of mind. I hope you guys enjoy and vote for me, D1. All right. Uh, now, um, do you uh, do you have anything to say to to the audience? Uh, first yourself? of all, I would like to pay my grad, pay my high respect to all the audience and good afternoon, judges, and also my partner. Uh, my name is Phuong Sang Nim, and I'm from Hun San Sri Pip, uh, which is located in Takma Town. And I'm gonna pray. Uh, today I have a topic under the title of uh, "People Say Poverty Is a State of Mind." And if you like my elaborations, I uh, hope you guys support me and vote for C1. Thank you. So basically, as they mentioned already, our topic is about poverty is a state of mind. So basically, is that uh, people are poor or people are, are in poverty is because the way they think and the way and and the way they see uh, they, they see their current situation. It's not about faith. It's not about religion, and it's not about. The, but but is it? Is it about faith or it, 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 it is something else? So I cannot wait to hear these two elaborate or um, discuss about the topic. So um, without further ado, which one of you would like to start first? Um, I, I can start first. Okay, please. The gentleman always go first. Yes. Um, so many people tend to have neg uh, negative stereotypes about the poor, um, meaning that they um, they think that the poor are uneducated and because of that they are poor and um, some people say that um, the poor need to change their way of thinking in order to be rich and um, in my uh, point of view saying that poverty is a state of mind is uh, insignificant uh, because I got two reasons corresponding to my disagreement so first of all uh, before we start, I would like to uh, give definition to the word poverty. Poverty uh, is a condition in which, uh, in which uh, a person or a community uh, lack the financial resources, which means the income is so low compared to our human basic need. Um, my first reason is opportunity and accessibility accessibility to sources are not equal the poor need uh, the poor um, uh, opportunities such as um, go, uh, going to school uh, op opportunity in jobs and accessibility to uh, to clean water accessibility to electricity all those stuff um, is very crucial in uh, our life and to improve poverty. Um, we, and we keep hearing that the poor, uh, the poor need to improve this, need to improve that when we don't have anything to offer. And for that, uh, um, for example, if you live in a community uh, where there is lack of nutritious food and drinking water, so so therefore your health are at risk and there's no health care to take care of that and so you can't do work or tasks and um, and for uh, for my evidence is that uh, in Africa in Africa of uh, almost four billion almost 4 billion hours are wasted to collect clean water to drink and 
it is such a waste of time when people need to like go to the nearby water resources and then bring it back home. It is such a waste of time, energy, and uh, work. Um, th this is why we see that uh, poverty is not a state of mind. It is a fact of life because people, opportunity are not even. My final point is, um, is because of disastrous phenomenon. Disastrous phenomenon such as war, conflict, natural disaster, worldwide pandemic can cause unstable economic growth. Um, in developed nations, those, um, those disasters can, uh, can be fixed and secured. But in our developing nation, um, this disaster could cause chaos. And for example, COVID-19 have destroyed. Um, uh, it could have destroyed our community as whole. But thanks to our government, we still doing okay so far. So, um, according to our history book, Cambodia has always also suffered uh, poverty due to Khmer Rouge. In uh, due to Khmer Rouge, and in conclusion, uh, in. Poverty is not a state of mind. Uh, it is uh, because uh, it is uh, it's not a state of mind. It is because um, the uh, the lack of opportunity, accessibility, and situational factors. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Inkay, for the beautiful elaboration. Obviously, uh, you have mentioned already is about uh, we. Poverty cause could be opportunities and accessibilities and also um, the thing that we can't deny is that disastrous phenomenon because it's no one no one want, want it to happen but it happened anyway. All right, let let's hear what Sukim has to say about uh, about about the topic. Uh, so uh, as you guys know that our topic today is, uh, people say poverty is a state of mind, but for me I have a dis disagree idea of this because poverty is not just a state of mind. But before we move to the elaborations, I would like to give a definition to the word poverty and state of mind. Uh, according to Oxford Dictionary, the words poverty mean that the state of being extremely poor. And the word state of mind refer to a person's emotional or mood. So today I had raised up two main points in order to support my idea. So the first point is low education can cause poverty. Uh, as we know, education is very uh, as we know, education is a role model in the so social and society, and it is a catalyst needed to push families, communities out of cycle poverty. And knowledge can give a power to children to have an opportunity to uh, dream a better future, job, gender equality, etc. And uh, if they have a enough education, they have a lot of opportunity to find a quality job with decent salary. Um, by the way, people born and growing in the poverty will remain in poverty due to the surrounding conditions. Um, they don't have a chance to go to school because their family don't have money to support their study. So they have to drop out of school and go to work at a young age. They do many old jobs like people around them and try not to raise above poverty. But they can't because they have a limited skill. Um, they have a job with a low paying, hard working and unspecified timing. Moreover, the unemployment and illiteracy rates are increasing that cause a lot of problems to the society such as thief, homeless people, um, welfare recipients and etc. And the second point is talking about um, economic reality can cause the poverty. As we know that every country's status is linked with economy, which is the important part of citizens' livelihood. Imagine that one country have a strong uh, have a strong economy, so their citizens can live a happy or modern life as possible after development of the country. But if that country have a problem with the Economy, so it also caused a lot of issue to the society as well. Focus on the real issue. There is no state of mind associated with poverty. Um, if the people in that country still have, still don't have enough to eat, no health care, 
no decent equal, uh, no decent quality educations, a roof is over their head, but with right mindset, they still cannot exclude themselves from the poverty. By the way, they need the opportunities and affordables in order to succeed or get ahead. According to Washington Post, Miss Helen, in the age of 40, she had been trying to um, to move herself out of the poverty, and she have the right uh, and she have the mindset the same as the HUD secretary secretary thinks she should. But poor people cannot escape themselves from poverty by simply having right attitudes. Um, it's up to financially and up, uh, politically in that country. So last but not least, poverty is not the state of mind, but it is the lack of affordable education and basic needed. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. So so basically, both of you, I have have the same ideas about ah, poverty is not a state of mind. So, um, but I I I hear people say that um. Poor people, well, not all poor people, of course, but some poor people, they have that mindset that they are poor. I don't know, it's like they are born poor or that that's their life or something like that. They didn't do, they didn't try to do anything um, to improve their life or they just uh, since since they can beg for money, they just continue to do uh, to do it every day. Yeah. Now, do you think that is a state of mind? Do you think that is how like that that is how people uh, that some of the poor people think or have that that mindset or do you think it's it's like they have to do it because they must or it's because they need to live or they need to like they need to do anything to survive is it because is it necessary or it's just the mindset that is like it's the only way to get money mm. so do you understand the question it, it, it's it's kind of it's kind of tricky question as well like do you want me to say it again yeah, say all right um the question is if 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 poverty is not a state of mind, like um as 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 we can see a lot of um a lot of great people we we can learn as well, mm -hmm. um some of them are from a very difficult family, mm -hmm. with 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 a very hard living condition, but they still manage to find a very decent job and make a lot of money, and as well as some other people, who was before a rich uh, uh in a, was born in a rich family but now can go bankrupt or will like we have no money on will uh, like turn into poverty turn his his or her face into poverty it's because of the way they spend or the way they do not care about money so is it it is it like is it true that poverty is not a state of mind or is it, it um is it something else that caused them to to like to become poor and cannot get back up yes um thank you for that question um Actually, um, the reason why like they are rich and then they are and then they turn themselves into uh, um, someone else. Yeah, they, yeah, they became poor. Yeah, they 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 became poor is because like um, just like um, so so Nim said that um, um, it is because of the environmental they live in. So if they are in uh, group of friends or, or, or like family situation that force them to do those things, then um, I think it will influence them, but not because of their own mind, uh, because of other influence. Mm -hmm. That's it? Yes. All right. Uh, now, what about you? Do you have like, what is your answer? Um, for my answer is, uh, I want to make sure that uh, before you uh, talking about the poor people, but they, um, trying to, um, update themselves, uh, into the situations that they can live in, mean, um, the, uh, middle class. Yeah, yeah, the middle uh, class. And then, uh, you, uh, and the second part, you mean the rich become poor. Yeah. So I would like to, um. Uh, answer you by part. Okay. Uh, sure. For the first one, uh, mean that uh, if I don't know if they born in whatever situation, but uh, when uh, they they born in the poor, very poor situations, but they don't take there to keep that. Oh, oh, I'm poor. No matter what I do, I still poor. So they just think that um, he can do it and he can read. So am I. And then the second part mean that he's born with a lot of wealth. 
Yes, I mean he rich. He he born with the rich family, so he just saying, oh, I don't need to work. I mean that we can see that my father can work and we still have money, so I don't need to work. Uh, and the another reason is his father or his family spoil him. Like never, but it's not never. It's like uh, don't try to teach him how to work. Just try to teach him how to spend. This is not uh, like a mind. Mind. Okay, mind okay. Um, that is just an ice break, uh, ice breaking question to you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, the real question is, um, is religion part of the reason that people are poor? Like, like as you see, some of the videos in Facebook, obviously, um, there are bubbles coming out from the from from from, from the field, the rice field, like, mm -hmm. and people just 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 beginning like ah uh, divine water or like sacred mm -hmm. water, like we gotta pray, we gotta we gotta spend some money on it, we gonna we we gonna do a lot of good stuff. Now, um, is is religion responsible for people's poor poverty or? And in in Hinduism, they they have a mindset that says uh that uh, that that says I was born poor because because it is my life or because I have like I have I did a lot of bad stuff in my previous life that that is why I was born poor or this life is like I was destined to be poor. So is it it it, it is religion also responsible for this kind of poverty as well or or not? Um, Do you understand the question? Yes. Okay. So. I think, um, in my point of view, I said um, it is partly, not fully, um, um, because like in Cambodia, we also have um, like belief that if um, we throw rice in the pagoda, then the um, spirit will eat them, yep. and it is such a waste of money. Um, and I, I myself never went to. Um, it is just a religion, and we people keep doing it, and people are uh, keep wasting um, precious um, resource for nothing. And and in Hinduism, like the holy water thing, and um, if uh, like if it doesn't involve with money, like uh, if we see it and we just uh, oh that is so respectful and not um, take it too seriously I think it is normal it mm. doesn't have to do with anything but poverty okay um, so Kim, what about you uh, honestly <laughs> this question is really hard because we bond with the religion so we have to believe like uh, we, we, we believe in part Buddha so mm. like I can say that it's true 50 like it's 50 50 like when you are to like you are to believe in that you 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 cannot upgrade your your life so we have to 50 50 so so basically you have to be flexible I yeah guess. flexible um, we we still going to do our tradition but yes. just don't do it too much yes. or don't overspend yourself that is what they're trying to say all right um as 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 you answer earlier so you're not denying that uh, religion is not part of uh, the like the religion is also a small part of yes. like the cause of poverty so what can we do to get rid of that like not not get rid of the our religion or tradition but yes. but but the way people spend money or the way people waste money is, is uh, more than they more than they should like what are the best solutions to um to 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 stop people from doing that do you have any suggestion or or you don't um um uh from i for me like it's my own opinions. I have a a little bit suggestion that, uh, you can go to pagoda and follow your belief. Like yes, you can do it. You can go, but don't spend it too much. Mean that, you you have to to know that your ability, the limit of your ability. Not that oh, I I see that rich people go and then oh they spend a lot of money and I have to do like them. I don't think it is necessary. Mm, okay. Yes. What about you? Uh, I, uh, for me, I agree with uh, Song Yim. Um, it is not necessary to do it very often. You you just um, need to believe in your religions, but not fully believe, like not um, use 100% of your cash or money to do those all those stuff. I don't think it is very necessary and it is such a waste of 
your money or resources okay um all right um this question i i really do know that it's kind of hard to answer because yes. i myself also have a trouble answering the question as well but what uh the last question might be easy for you because it's about uh, might be easier because it's about youth so yes. as as we all are Cambodian youth, what can we do to contribute to to stop poverty or to reduce poverty? Like, like, what are the uh, what are the role of you, uh, Cambodian youth in order to fight against poverty? So, yes, in my ideas, um, this thank you for this question. It is um, big and meaningful and. First, before you do anything, you must educate it yourself. The first tip is to be educated. So you must involve, um, you must learn, you must study what like we, uh, before having other, you must help um, your country first. Yeah? You have to study about your country, what do we need and start involving yourself in some org organization or non-profit campaign such as um, ACE charity run or like volunteer in some um, um, uh, teaching uh, teaching children in rural area I think it is very good and you must do it with passion so and my second point is to spread the positivity of um, doing so like if you spread the um, like it is uh, if you feel good uh, by helping other people, then you should say, you, yeah, it is amazing to help people and to change people. Uh, uh, it can influence more people to do the same. And as you know, if more people have positivity, um, our country will uh, be good. Mm, okay. Now, what about you, Sungim? What, like, uh, what is your ideas, like, what, or what is your opinion about youth? What can they do in order to contribute to poverty? Uh, thank you for your question. And I do agree with his answer, but not bad. <laughs> and I want to add some more, like, it is my opinion. I think that, uh, like, this is what I see in the fact, in the reality. Like, um, so many rich people love to spend their money to buy uh, luxury mm -hmm. things. And... Uh, if they can uh, cut cut down the money that they go to uh, that they spend on the luxury things and go to do a charities like um, for uh, create the opportunities to the poor people uh, to to have an education so it's it would be good because uh, one country cannot develop uh, without education. Mm, all right, all Thank right. You. Okay, um, ladies and gentlemen, we have we have reached to an end of the first session of the speaking competition. So we will be back in five minutes, and um, for the second session, we will pick the question in the comment session, uh, and and uh, pit the the team will pin the uh, the questions to ask our contestants. So if you have any questions, don't forget to comment down below, and if. Uh, you uh, and if you want to show your supports to our contestant, don't forget uh, don't forget to like, share, and comment your favorite uh, your favorite numbers or ID, aka ID uh, of of your favorite contestant in the comment section. So we will back in five hour, uh, five minutes. Thank you. ຫມອງຫມົກຈຸນໂດຍວິຊາສະຖານຊີອີໂອບົງພັກນິສິດឲ្យຄ້າຍຊີບົກກະລຶກປູກາຍແນ່ດຶກນ້ອມປູກາ
Ladies and gentlemen, let's see our contestant of English speaking contest that they show their impression on our program. Okay, hello. hello. Yes, uh, can you introduce yourself? Um, my, my name is my name is Ken Sok Fravit and yes. I am a 12th grader from Prestige Award High School and um, and I'm from a 12th A2. Okay, so why did you decide to join in our program? Well, I decided to join the Net One Darwin program because I want to uh, overcome my obstacle. A lot of uh, which is stage uh, stage fright is one of my obstacles. So um, I want and, and I also want to show the ability that um, that uh, mo uh, most of my friends and I who who have the same ability uh, to show people that we have the ability to do to do something we love. So and and also I want to meet new people and and over and overcome my fear. You are one of the contestants apart from the round one, so you will surely go to the next round two. So, what what are your commitments? Yes. Um. Well, after after dealing with a formidable formidable uh, opponent, uh, I I have learned that there are a lot of people who has the uh, who have potential mm -hmm. in in a lot of ways and. And from and after passing to the second round, uh, second round, I I am going to try harder, and I'm going to research, and I'm going to all uh, try all my best in order to uh, in order to pass to to the next round. Can you briefly tell me about what did you learn from our program? Um, the Net Montawin program is is a very good program to be honest, because um, we uh, first of all first of all I. I, I learned that uh, the program is all about is all about in, encouraging youth, in order uh, youth to share uh, to share their ability, to show their ability, and to and and also uh, to teach uh, to teach youth uh, youth that uh, youth are a very uh, pow a powerful source of uh, a powerful source of developing the country. Okay, uh, do you have any suggestion to the new generation that they are in grade twelve? Yes, they. Why uh, should they join with with Nevan Dolmen program? Um, I I don't have much to say about this one, but um, I would I would like to encourage a lot of people, mm -hmm. uh, especially 12th grader, if you have the ability, if you think that you have the ability, and then don't be afraid to show your ability your ability because uh, no uh, nobody can uh, can spot your ability in the dark, only if you only if you share it in the light, and then a lot of people. Can see it, and a lot of people will know uh, nationally and internationally uh, how good we are. That's it. Okay, thank you for sharing and joining with our with us on the Abdomen program. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we have three types of contest. The first is Khmer speaking contest, and the second is English speaking contest, and the last one for the outstanding student. And we provide all the opportunity for all the grad 12 students that they have their potential to show. Okay, thank you. On card mobile, Samany Roha Nisrul.
ยมตรกาต้นบันทายขยมจังเรียบจังคราวไอ้ล้อจริงดิขยมจังแทมสระมุดีก็ไม่ไอ้ตรงเรียกชีพการเชียงบานตาเนี่ยกำปองตรกาดำต้นปองเรียกชีพการเมนเต้ไอ้เล่านี่ทุนนี้กีอาไปบอดจนบอดหนังกะสิกรรมรอจุนอันเตียนกอมโตรสัพกรรมสหกรีทนโตยหนังมัดชุ่มจีมวยหนังอัปราคาปราตรัมจะปรามพีรอยปนอกนงมวยชนะกำเจ้ปรามปนลาคาปราตรัมแต่มาพายมวยดลาปนอกนงมวยไข่ทุนนี้กีอาไปบอดจนบอดหนังกะสิกรรมดำใบกะสิกรหนังอัปไปบอดจะติดกิจสองกลุ่มรายรายวอลค์คัมบ์ไปทุกคนที่สองสัปดาห์ของการแข่งขันและฉันไม่สามารถที่จะฟังคำถามของคุณหรือคำถามที่คุณได้ยินในสัปดาห์นี้ในสัปดาห์นี้เรามีคำถามจากผู้แข่งขันรายหนึ่งของผู้แข่งขันของเราในขณะนี้และหนึ่งของผู้แข่งขันของเนทบอลทอร์นโปรแกรมของเราขอบคุณมากที่ติดตามกับยินดีรอดตอนนี้She said, "My question for both uh, for both contestants: Everyone have opportunity uh, has the opportunities to grab a job. Why is there poverty in our country besides the lack of knowledge from school disaster and many more? Like, like as 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 we all know that there are certain there are some good amount of jobs that does not require knowledge, but they require skill, and those skill can be can be learned like uh, in a year or two." So why why don't they uh, like why why do we still have poverty in our countries if we if people can acquire skills instead of that uh, instead of knowledge like spend more time on knowledge is that a question or do I make it a little bit more complicated than it actually is? It's kind of. All right, so <laughs> um, everyone have opportunities to grab a job. Why is there poverty in our country? That is the question. Hmm. Which one of you would like to answer this beautiful question? Um, this is a bit hard, and this is very hard questions. I would admit. I uh, yeah, I would admit to it. Is it a very hard question? Um. Okay, I, I let, let me try. Uh, so thank you for your really really hard question. Uh, for my opinion, uh, like you mentioned that there are so many jobs that we can go like learn like it is skill. It uh it related it's related to skill. So you mean that we can go like we can spend one or two years to get that skill. But I would like to ask that without affordable, how can you spend on that that Cost to get that skill, and then after you get that skill, where can you go to work? Where can you go to work for the salary? So it's all depend on the for the affordable. Is is that all right? So so it all depends on the or the amount of money you have to spend during in order to get those skills or yes. like um like now a simple question is a security guard like actually require. Money to study about how to become a security. No. So basically, you can just become a security guard and earn some money. Yeah. Like, why don't people do that? Um. This is my opinions again. I think that um somebody looked down at that um job. I mean that. What's a security guy? What if my uh, neighborhoods go and uh, admit me there, and I'm a security guy? So, like, uh, are they gonna go ship me? Like, uh, talking that oh, uh, that family is poor. Like, we don't need to go and make friends with them. Mm. Like, yeah, something like right. that. It depends on the uh, environments that they live in. Alright, so 
Ink hang is your turn. So, in my opinion, the reason why people still um, don't like don't do that um, well-paying job is because of their standard or their need. Because um, some in some um, some people have um, like large family members in their group, and then if you um, think of it, a security guard, um, two hundred per month, um, and there's five member in their family, so they can't. Um, afford to um, do such job, so that is why um, they think it is um, it is better to find another, and then that mindset, uh, that concept still go on and on, and like so they still stuck with that decision and not being able to move on. All right, so you you mentioned that okay, um, five family members and security guard doesn't pay well. All right, let, let's jump to another level then. How about factory workers? Okay, factories. they don't require they, they don't require any um, They do require some knowledge and you have time to study, but it's free So what about that? So and and they also earn as I as, as far as I know right now It's between two hundred two hundred dollars to four hundred dollars a month. Yes. So um, Is it like are they able to afford their family their five family members if they jump into factory workers which is also not required anything more than just their commitment and hard working but instead they chose not to do it um i mean um so um people like um Yes, commitment. I couldn't disagree that commitment is one of the big factors that lead to um, uh, that lead them to do that job. But um, commitment alone isn't enough. They need um, uh, like uh, they need more support, support supportive um, ideas. Sometimes their family member doesn't agree. Um, so they are like it, in in my own experience um what i heard um many people like want to go to korea for um better salary right mm -hmm. and then um their family are not supportive so that they they um they won't allow their children to work at other countries that are well paying that so family factor is also um um uh, one of the biggest factors. Okay, all right, all right. Um, thank you, Ratanat, for this um, beautiful question. I really like it so much. Thank you for asking the question, and you are giving the contestant a very hard time. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, next question from Wong Kim. Um, how to overcome poverty in our country? But this time, not as a youth, but as a citizen as a whole. What can we do to overcome poverty in our country? So, um, any ideas? Yes. Um, so, in order to overcome youth in our country, I have um, two factors, and one is our ourselves, and one is government. So, um, our factor is like what I stated earlier. You need to be educated. You, uh, you need need to be educated. You need to um, have passion. You need to um, take actions. And for the government part. Uh, that I didn't mention. Uh, so, um, government should uh, provide um, um, like basic income for the poor, so that they could um, live with, um, so they can afford education, and uh, so that they could afford education and uh, and housing and food and, and stuff and. Um, another re uh, re another point is to enhance our infrastructure. That means availability to clean water, electricity, and ro uh, road. So um, clean water is also um, like biggest factors because if if we don't have clean water to drink and we got uh, infected by um, a harmful disease, then there's no point in trying uh, to do anything else. Um, yes, I think that is. All right, now, Songib, what is your ideas about this? 
like how to overcome poverty in our country? Uh, thank you for your questions. Uh, for me, I think uh, yes, I also have two factor. Uh, uh, the first one is we, we talk about the uh, whole country is mean that uh, the government. So I, I the government should um, improve about the agriculture. Um, yes. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, may, uh, like, um, it's about the tax. Uh, cut down the tax, and then, uh, make sure that the tax is, um, in the standard that poor and rich people can afford for it. Uh, because we need to responsible for the minimum wage, which is, um, we can uh people who go to work should be out of poverty, and then, for ourselves. We need to have a high commitment that no matter situations I was born in because people, uh, because no one born in the wrong mindset, but uh, we need opportunities. So no matter if that opportunity is, we should catch that occasion and make uh, and try to educate ourselves and then uh, and the result, we can have our Self, our family, also our society as well. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, both of you. We have a lot of incoming questions right now, like um, from Mr. Saribi, um, our our previous uh, Network Development Program uh, Manager. Um, um, how to change mindset and as from Rung Rung, as youth, what can we do to help decrease poverty? And another one from Rotana. Um like she asked another question, uh, another good question, which is 21st century welfare requires soft skill more than hard skill. Why education is more important? And and from Kai where is where's the right where's the right place to receive good ideas from creating mindsets? Um, we would like to ask all those questions to our contestant. However, due to the time constraint, we would uh, we would cut the question session. Uh, to, to this end and we would like for our contestants to ask each other one question before before they wrap up their speech and we could end the competition today all right um, which one of you would like to ask first um, you first me, me ask this. all right so, gentlemen I'll so always go first in in rural area in Cambodia um, people some people work so hard right yet still have little budget left and by the end of the month so what do you think? Um, why does that happen? Um, thank you for your questions. Uh, for my, uh, I think for my opinion, I think that um, people uh, they work like a farmer or something like that. But it it is a small family. They they it's uh, they not do it as a like business like their family business. It's just a small family. They uh, they do it and then they know that uh, they sell like example they. Uh, they do the right so when they sell it they think that oh uh, they not think that they know that it's only afford uh, only in the whole family they just need the, the money from the they sell and just to afford the family basic need and moreover it's it, um it's related to um the market like marketing something like that am i right like uh i would like to suggest to our government to cut down uh import and then increase the export and then we do a agriculture for um uh, support not uh for to, for our city uh, our society also export to another oh, country as well right. yes yeah, thank you now, are you satisfied with the with her answer? I am very satisfied with her answer, and it is very surprising that she got almost everything in the list. Um, so I would like to add more. It is um, because one more reason is because their family situation. So, like, there is no rule respected um, um, that one family must have um, one or two in children in Cambodia. So um, some family could have like five or six children in rural area and um, it um, and it impacts their um, budget. So they have to force their children to work, uh, do the farming, do the agricultural things and um, all sort of stuff to get money. That's it. So basically we do not have um 
the child policy. Yeah, so yeah. just like in China, in China they, yeah. they have one child policy, and yes. now now they have two child policy. Yes. Um, all right. Uh, so Nim, it's your turn to ask the question. Uh, I would like to ask you that. Uh, it's in the rural area, the same as your question. Uh-huh. Like, um, how can uh, you mentioned already that one family uh, sometimes has. Uh, five children up. So, how can people uh, cut down that? You, I mean, the policy should come out that uh, limit that you in one family only have two children, or how can uh, how can we educate them? Mm-hmm. This is a really interesting question, and um, like to I think um, um, child policy is. Um, a good, a really good ideas and a really interesting ideas, and um, if we implement it, it will help um, decrease um, poverty rates. And um, your question is um, like uh, how to uh, educate them. Ed- educate them. Um, so we need to have, uh, uh, we need to create a community where we um, gather all parents. Um, and also young generation as well to be educated about their um, sex life that don't don't need that they don't need a lot of children to help them with their work they just need um, like one or two, two children is enough and um, this this is my ideas. All right, uh, so Nim, so are you satisfied with his answers? Yes. Do you have anything to add more? Sure, I'm so satisfied. <laughs> so satisfied. Why? Okay. <laughs> I'm so fast. So this is why with his answer, and I would like to add some more. Like, um, we should do uh, like our generations. Like, I believe that all of us born in a medium class family. Yes. So, I think that we still have uh, some money. Like, we should do a charity, open the community, which is can, like you said, gather all the. Um, family or parents to uh, educate them about the sex life and how to protect it and then uh, we need to ex- uh, educate them that uh, what if uh, they have a lot of children and they can afford jo- uh, their children so what's what happens next mm-hmm. to their children so yes thank you so basically we have to tell them like yes, if they is. have a lot of children be sure you have uh, enough money or enough resources to feed them otherwise you will be as well in poverty yes. all right all right a oh, beautiful ideas beautiful question beautiful answers some answers are weird some questions are weird obviously my questions are weird <laughs> so um now right now each of you has one minute to conclude your your speech and we can end our, com- our competition after that all right which one of you would like to start first I'm pretty sure this one will like start first. Okay, please go. Uh, in conclusions, uh, property is not a state of mind because it uh, the problem is the lack of education, the lack of quality, uh, equality gender, um, the um, the affordable and the situations that you are born in. So, thank you. All right. So, In Kang, it's your turn. Um, to put everything in place, I support that poverty is not a state of mind, but it is the lack of opportunity, accessibility, and um, wrong circumstances. Um, people, um, there's a quote from Albert Einstein: um, "If you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its life thinking it it was stupid." And human, just like tree. Um, not just just like fish, um, we need to understand the um, the fish struggle. Why the fish can climb the tree instead of telling uh, the fish why they should climb the tree, um, and because of that, um, I conclude my speech. All right, good conclusions. All right, uh, everyone, uh, we have reached an end of the competition. But before that, we would like to thank our. Um, our sponsors and other sponsors of us. Uh, thank you, CEO and uh, CEO Master Club and CEO Institute for uh, helping or for um, for your enormous support in the Netmatron program and as well as Learn Online Cambodia. Learn Online Cambodia is the uh, newest and easiest online learning platform in Cambodia. It helps students with a lot of uh, with a lot of stuff, with a lot of um, ideas, with a lot of uh, lessons and as well as businesses as well. Learn Online Cambodia helps lives easier. All right, everyone, we have reached an end of the competition. We will see you. Pretty sure it's either Friday or Thursday. So 
um see you next week um the same time but different day i don't know all right <laughs> goodbye to be clear ការបង្ហាញសមត្ថភាពទៀតកសលភាពខ្លះហានរបស់យុវជនដ៏ធំបំផុតនៅទូទាំងប្រទេសកម្ពុជាប្រកួតប្រជែងយុវជនអ្ន
แต่ปนอจมีนอกาคลายตัวจีนดักนอมทุรกิจในครองวิสัยไอเกจนคลายตัวจีสหกรณ์คลายตัวจีมาจากกรมหุ่นจีมาจากสหกรณ์ได้โชว์รวมจำนายอภิวัตรปฏิจจยิงบานฉลาดตามระยะกาบังการผลิตภัณฑ์ศิลปกรรมทำไมทำไมตามระยะกาบังการการงี้อาพิจิบรอดเพื่อทำไมการบันทอยจำนายสรงให้ตามระยะกาคลายตัวจีตีเกิดหลายในบรรดมนุษย์ไอบานการได้ฉลาดในกลายการงี้นั่งโชว์รวมจำนายในโครงการบางการจำนวนจำนวนจูนจูนรัฐตามยาคาบางคนนั่งเชียมาจัดสกได้เชียมจัดหรือจัดกู้ในขนมเศรษฐกิจดาวดวงมองระบบปฏิกรรมปีเดียวพอยืมอันนี้สับปอมบราก็โดยบองวิทูเตอร์คือเป็นจัดเหม็นเตนคือการก่อสร้างทนเทียนมนุษย์ทนเทียนมนุษย์การเมืองเชียโบกิฮาร่าโดนตาปุ่ยปุ้งเซนนั่นนะเจเนติกยื้งคลั่งได้เธอโกครุบครองประเทศมาดับบอลนี้ยังไอตลอดนอนเมียเดิมเมื่อปวดตะซ่าวิ่งปุ๊ดขมายเป็นทอมมาด้าดิไอ้ยมเข้มเข้มดัดน้ำนั่งชื่อเจียธาเรื่องปอดปอดาเรื่องออบรมนี่คือสำคัญไอ้เหมือนนั่งเจลีพี่ตั้งปีเนี้ยสัตว์ตะเมาปิ่มปิ่งแต่สลับทากาปะกูนั่งปะกูตูเตียงปะเตไอ้เนี่ยปุ่ยยมคลั่งอ่ะเงี้ยปอนตายปอนตายเนี่ยพนมปิ่งสมปยานน้ำคอยไทยตอมจึงเปลี่ยนในจอมประหยัดเนี่ยใครเกิดเธอซีวิ่งจังขนมเนียมเชื่อตำนางเรียเรียชนีพนมปิ้งก็โดยเชื่อตำนางเอาสาเพียบสาปอนอยู่จนกลางมาเชื่อเรียชนีพนมปิ้งขยำบาดไงนี่เมียนเมียนแต่มวยที่คือทารุมเพิบสบายเรียเรียมันเต้นให้สมอบอสาโตจมพัวเจลีพีโอนโปรโฟนสไลด์จังปีเนี่ยไอ้หนึ่งสมอบอสาโตในปีสถานซีโอโดยเชื่อซีโอมาสเตอร์คลับเดบดับบันเดอร์ตัวจุกเชขนมกางยี่ห้อยก็สมจูนโป้เอาไปเชื่อสถานซีโอการเดอร์จุกเชยไทม์เตียนเอาไปก็โดยเชื่อสมอยกรมพลได้กู้ทั้งอ๋อโจรมสักกาช่วยให้ขนมเนียมขยมตัวก็โดยเชื่อแกะอยู่ท่าก็โดยเชื่อกระซูงกางยี่หนึ่งดอกแดงยูเบียนู้นแต่โจรมคอนโทรลรอสกามเพียบบอกเชื่อสถานซีโอขนมกาชื่อเรื่องไปไปจนก็โดยเชื่อชื่อเรื่องเนี่ยได้เมียนสมัครเพียบก็โดยเชื่อกาบารมราทุนเทียนมนุษย์ในการบุญเชื่อดำใบโจรมคอนโทรลดอลวิสัยสากรรมกระโดดจีการดักนอมระบบหรือรัฐบาลกรรมจี